Stephen Colbert on the Hill. I mean, Congress already has, if you look at the polls, a bit of a credibility problem with the public. Uh, neither side scores well in the uh, approval ratings. D does this kind of hearing help? What, what do you make of this? Well, I'm on the Immigration Subcommittee, and I, I decided to come to my home district. I actually got work to do. Look, he's the best fake Congress, the fake, best fake newscaster there is, and so if they're going to have a fake hearing, I, I guess he's the guy to do it. What's sad about it is, on the 21, min 21 months I've been on the Immigration Subcommittee, we've only met 10 times. We have never, never looked at, looked at a substantive bill to deal with the immig immigration issue. And then they call it Stephen Colbert. I mean, it just sort of solidifies the fact that the Democrats who control the gavel, they control who comes up there, really aren't serious about fixing this thing. So I have to point out, though, some of your colleagues, some of your Republican colleagues, did attend the hearing. I mean, did anyone talk about, uh, let's just not go to this, this isn't serious? No, look, it's, it's to show up, and, and that's fine, try to ask a few questions, but it's, it's just a joke. It's, it was intended to be a joke, and it's unfortunate because I've sponsored close to a dozen bills that deal seriously with immigration. None of them have been brought up for discussion. None. And uh, and yet, you know, the Democratic chairwoman, she brings up a comedian. I, I just, it, shows, it may be fun and people may want to get their picture taken, but it's sad because immigration's broken and I think people on both sides of the aisle truly want to fix it. But we can't when, when we have these kind of antics happening in, in Congress.